What is up, Facebook? How are you guys doing? And welcome to another Backyard and Beyond. I'm your host, Chef John. And it is a beautiful day here at the Worldwide Headquarters for Rec Tech out here on the Rec Tech deck. As always, I got my man, Jordan Johnson. Jordan, what's up? How are you doing, sir? What do you do? That's right. Well, it's easy peasy week all week long here at Rec Tech. We're bringing you our very best and easiest recipes for you guys to duplicate at home. We're That's just right. going to bring it down a little bit, make it easy for you guys. Nothing too in depth. So today, I'm going to be doing some barbecued pork chops. Mm. That's right. It's mm. going to be absolutely delicious. But as always, guys, put all your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section. My man Jordan Johnson will be reading them out. We got Sherpa behind the camera. Shout out to you, Sherpa. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let's get into this thing. Today, I'm going to be cooking on the bullseye. I've got that thing cranked up to 500 degrees, and we're burning those Kingsford hickory pellets. Man, Kingsford makes that reliable fuel. Shout out to you, Kingsford. And I'm also going to be cooking on the RT340. I've got it set at 500 degrees. I've got a cast iron skillet inside there. I'm letting it warm up. That's what we're going to be doing our side in. Let's get into some of these ingredients. I got two delicious, thick, th 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 thick pork chops right here. We can shout out to our uh, local grocery store. Uh, I've got a half an onion. We got a little bit of feta cheese, some uh, portobello mushrooms. I have uh, tomato, zucchini. A little bit of potato salad I made earlier. We're going to be using that Ron Screaming Pig, absolutely delicious on anything pork, and often imitated, never duplicated, that Roscoe Ruski's Honey Rib Rub. That's right. Man, all right. I so, think you picked the two best rubs for pork. For sure. By for sure. all means. Yeah, absolutely. Those incredible. combined, really, you get a little bit of sweet, you get a little bit of heat. That's a winning, winning profile. All right, so we're just going to jump straight into this. So what I got is my pork chops here. Now, I already had these, like I just picked them up in a pack of four, I think it was a pack of six, uh, from our local grocery store. They were nice and thick. I like thick chops that takes them a little bit longer to cook on the grill. It gets a little bit more smoke flavor before they're all the way done. So we're going to hit it with a little bit of oil. I'm using a little bit of olive oil. We're going to use that as a binder. It's going to help our seasoning adhere to the protein. So we're going to do both sides. Just a dabble, do you? Right? And then we're going to go ahead and hit it with our seasonings. We're going to go with that honey rib rub. A little bit on this side. Then we're going to hit it with some of that Ron Screaming Pig. Now, I like to double up on my spices. Oh, yeah. You guys, they play really well together. All of the Rec Tech seasonings play really well together. And if you're not, like, doubling up using that Colden's Freaking Greek, and heifer's dust together, like, you know, you're not living your best life. Well, All right. somebody today is going to receive a rub and sauce bundle. They're going to have the opportunity to mix and match all of our rubs and spices. That's what I'm talking about. Well, John, as you season up those pork chops, I want to hit our audience with a little uh, bit of pork facts. All right, do it, Jordan. I got a couple pork facts for you guys today. Uh, pork chops are a loin cut. They're leaner than other cuts of pork. That's true. They are high in protein and low in fat. Mm -hmm. So they're not as bad for you as you may think. That's right. And if you want to make this recipe at home, all you got to do is go to rectech.com, go to our recipe section, and look for grilled pork chops right. under the pork tab. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah. So helpful. H helpful. Helpful hand, Jordan. Yeah. But guys, and if you haven't gone to the recipe section and checked it out, go, go head on over there right after the show. Rectech.com, check out the recipe section. We've got a lot of amazing recipes. They're so simple to make. You should try them at home. All right, so we're going to take our chops. Now, normally, I like to let my chops rest for about 10 minutes, you know? Uh, let all this seasoning adhere to the outside. They're going to get kind of tacky looking. That looks perfect. We're going to go ahead and throw them on. I oh, love yeah. that sound. I know that sizzle, sizzle. You know it's doing its job. RT B 380. I love that grill, Jordan. Me too. Weekday man. workhorse, 15 pound hopper. Mm. I mean, stainless steel build. PID controller That's in a right. direct flame grill. I mean, often, Come on. often imitated, never duplicated. Yeah. Hottest pellet grill on the market right now, Jordan. That's right. That's right. You could pick those up at rectech.com. It is very sexy. It is. Oh, you meant temperature. Yes. Oh, got it, got it. Oh, yes. yes, yes, for sure. All right, understood. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this side. So like I said, I preheated a cast iron skillet in my RT340. I had it set at 500 degrees. It's probably been in there about 30 minutes, but it is scorching hot. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this to the side. I've already got some zucchini cut up and squash cut up, and I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna do this. 
So we're just going to take the end of the zucchini off, right? Super easy. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to cut it into thirds. And then we're just going to make large, large chunks, right? Just like that. Easy peasy. All right, I'll show you guys again. Now, you could do this with whatever vegetables you guys like. If you're out there and you're like, Chef John, I don't like zucchini, I don't like squash. First, I would say to you, you probably have never had it cooked right because they're delicious. Zucchini and squash are so good. Right, Jordan Johnson? Uh, right, Jordan Johnson? Yeah, that's yes, correct. That's what I'm talking about. They are great, great, and a good summertime vegetable. All right, so we're going to do the same thing with the squash. We're just going to cut it into thirds. Nice thick slices, right down the middle, straight into chunks. All right, now once we have it done this, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of olive oil into our cast iron. You can see that thing is still hot, hot, hot. In the zucchini goes and the squash. John, I'm going to need you to tell all 247 of our viewers right now to smash that That's share right, button. Guys, if you want to see the end of this awesome, awesome recipe, I need you to help me, help y'all, by smashing that share button in three, two, one, smash it. Mm. I mean, I get paid by the share. And if y'all want me to keep bringing y'all amazing content like this, help me out. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now we're going to let that zucchini and squash just start to cook up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and slice up. An onion. How was uh how was your weekend, John? What'd you get a, into? I had a great weekend. Spent it with loved ones. We uh, did some Easter. I cooked some ribs uh, on my RT590 mm. that came out beautiful. That's a good it's, Easter dish. Yeah. What about you, Jordan? I enjoyed some time with family myself. Uh, celebrated with my girlfriend for the first time with family okay. and. Uh, had some fried chicken, so you know I was having a good day. Yeah, anytime you get fried chicken, Jordan Johnson is happy. I'm a happy man. All right. So you can see this, this cast iron is still hot. So we're just going to move this around a little bit. We're going to add some onions to it. That's looking great. And then back on to the RT340, it goes. Now these vegetables are going to cook a lot faster than you think they are. That cast iron is super hot. Um, and it's really going to uh, give that a really nice, nice color. Jordan Johnson, you got any amazing questions out there? Everybody's talking about what they did for Easter. Susan Elizabeth went okay. out there and smoked a ham on the 590. Yeah, and I, you know what? I really appreciate all you guys uh, including me on your Easter pictures. Thank you so much for tagging me. Uh, you guys did a great, great job. I was super impressed with the hams, the beans, the potatoes. It was really, really good. I wish I could have come to all y'all's house and hung out for Easter with y'all. All right, so I just got an heirloom tomato here. I'm just going to slice it up, right? And then we're just going to stick it to the side. We're going to finish with this tomato. I've now, got some, uh, yeah, Jordan Johnson. Yeah, we do, we do have a quick question. They want to know how much uh, is the bullseye? The bullseye right now, Jordan? How much is it right now? $3.99. $3 right now ships free anywhere inside the United States. Guys, go head on over to rectech.com and you can pick that bad boy on up. All right, so I've got some uh, portobello, baby portobello mushrooms. So we're just going to take the ends off of them. Right, and we're just going to cut them in half. It's super simple. Take that big end off, and we're just going to cut them in half. It's perfect. All right. Now, now that we have all our vegetables prepped up, we're going to go ahead and take some of this garlic. We're going to add it to our veggies. It's our handy dandy garlic paste. I'm telling you right now. Now, Jordan, I've had a lot of people that have uh, emailed me, and they're like, Chef John, I can't find garlic paste at my uh, local grocery store. So this is what you guys do. If you have a food processor and you have regular whole garlic, what you're going to do is put a couple ounces of olive oil in your food processor, put all of that whole garlic in there, and just puree it until it turns into a paste. Could you do the same with, like, minced garlic? You sure enough could, Jordan. You sure enough could. All right, we're going to add that delicious garlic flavor to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some honey rib rub right over the top. Man, it smells absolutely wonderful out here, guys. I don't know if you guys could smell that, but I wish you could. All right, so in the mushrooms go. Right? Susan Elizabeth, excuse me, Susan Elizabeth, it's a mouthful, said only $3.99? Only $3.99. That's right. And, guys, while you're over at rectech.com, with the purchase of any grill, so go ahead, 
buy that bullseye right now for $3.99 for $149 added on to that you can get 220 pounds of all American hardwood hmm. pellets that's with any purchase hmm. of any new grill right Jordan Johnson yeah that's right hey man listen 220 pounds of pellets in our grills yeah. is roughly 220 hours yeah. of cook time sure enough is all right we're gonna check on these chops we're gonna go ahead and give them a flip uh, they're looking absolutely delicious. You can see the sear marks on there, right? Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and crank this bad boy up to riot mode so we can help finish this dish a little bit faster. Whoo, Jordan Johnson. Yeah, I'm working up a sweat. Are right you now? now? Yeah, I really am. You but getting thirsty a, a little early today? I am getting a little thirsty a little early today. Do you think we should go ahead and just do that? Well, John, burr, 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 it's 420 somewhere. That's what I'm talking about. It's time for that Dirty Girl 420 moment brought to you by Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. Now, it's time for me to make a drink because it's hot outside. Spring has sprung. So you know what time it is. It's time for hashtag drink of spring. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. Burr, 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 burr. And this drink of spring is the Dirty Girl Transfusion. This stuff is absolutely delicious, guys. Bod Second City Distillery Vodka. It has great juice and just a hint of ginger ale. It is really, really delicious. 12% can by volume, or 7% alcohol by volume, 12% can. Uh, it has two drinks per can. Comes in a handy four pack like this. It is absolutely delicious. So this is how you do it. It's great for whatever you want to do this summer, Jordan. You could drink it right out of the can yeah, or as John is about to show you. Yeah, over the ice. I like to take it in a Dirty Girl cup. That's Me too. I, yeah, you know, with full of ice. I want the whole experience. Yeah, a little pop of the top that beautiful color Ooh. like I said two drinks per can the dirty girls told me to go ahead and finish it off with a lime and this is the perfect drink for this week yeah given that the big tournament is in town big tournament has started Jordan yeah it's on and cracking right down the street all right cheers to you guys Facebook mm. wow that's absolutely delicious refreshing cheers. You get the hint of grape juice, uh, that vodka, it gives a nice little bit of kick, and then you get some bubbles from the ginger ale, not overly sweet, super perfect for anything you're going to be doing on a nice, warm spring day. Whether you're ripping lips, hitting the links, cutting grass, or just babysitting, make the transfusion your drink of spring. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, John, right. back to these pork chops here. Well, yes. We got a question from Charles. Yes. He wants to know, should you use the sear kit if you have it? Yeah, definitely. If you have a sear kit and you really want to put some uh, nice sear marks on there, 100% use the sear kit if you have it. I love it. I absolutely love it. But I just want to show everybody who doesn't have the sear kit, you can still do this recipe on any of our grills. That's you know? right. It doesn't have to necessarily be a sear kit, the 340, you know. The Same temperature, too, across the board. Same temperature all across the board. That's right, Jordan. Got it. That's right. All right. I'm going to come in here and take a peek at these veggies. They're doing good. Right? Now, to finish these off, I know y'all are like, Chef John, this looks absolutely amazing. And guys, it's gonna be delicious. So, to finish these off, I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with a little bit of beer. A little beer? Yeah, Jordan. Ooh. A little beer right over the top. Woo, I wish you guys could smell that. It smells absolutely delicious. All right, we're gonna close these bad boys up. Jordan, uh, I have some pork chops I already did because I didn't know if these were going to be done in time. So let me go ahead and get them off real quick. Well, you did say they're a little thicker. It's going to take a little th bit th longer. Th th thick, but look how good these things came Ooh, out. Oh, my God. Right? Look at that. Don't they look absolutely delicious? Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. You see the beautiful color. You see the sear marks. That's right. That's right. Fantastic. I made a little bit of uh, potato salad earlier, Jordan. I put a little bit of that Ben's heifer dust in there. That is going to be absolutely delicious with this, too. Right? All right, I'm going to come back and check on these chops. They should be close to being done. Now, John, I have to ask you. I know I ask you every time, but yes. I would be remiss if I didn't. Did you put raisins in that potato salad? Raisins? Yeah. Why do you always ask me about raisins and potato salad? Some folks do it, John. I never understood that. Some people do. Put in the comment section, everybody. Are you all putting raisins <laughs> in your potato salad? Because if you are, I don't, know, I don't know where you're part of the world you're living in. That's terrible. Right? I Trevor's shaking his head I right agree. now. Yes, that's terrible. I agree with you. Yeah. Wow. Raisins. What kind of raisins, Jordan? I, I think there's only one kind of raisin, isn't there? Oh, they're golden raisins. They're California raisins. I they're think it's a brand. Okay. I yeah. thought they were a group. 
I do. I like the California raisins too. I like the California <laughs> raisins too. All right, let's get back to this food. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check on our veggies. Oh, they're looking great. Absolutely delicious. They are almost done. We're gonna give these like just another more minute to get soft. But don't they look delicious, Facebook? Come on now. Holler give us some likes. Give us some loves. I'm telling you right now. Some wow faces. Share this video. All right, I'm gonna pull these chops. They're done. Man, they are raving about the color of those pork chops, I'm John. telling you right now, it's a testament to that Ron Screaming Pig and that Honey Rib Rub. That's what you guys want. Woo! But we were talking about doing a giveaway, right, Jordan? Yes, we were. We have to announce a giveaway winner. We sure do. I'm going to need help with this last name, Jordan. I'm going to tell okay. you right now I'm going to mess right. it up. I got you. All right. So last week, guys, what we, we asked you guys to share this video. You had to go in the comment section and hashtag... No, they actually had to tag a friend. Oh, that's right. You had to tag a friend, and we were going to let you and your buddy, that's right, win this prize if you tag someone who did not know about Rec Tech. So the winner of a rub and sauce bundle plus a Backyard and Beyond t-shirt combo, both of them. Mr. David da Villanueva. V Villanueva. Yeah. Congratulations, David. All you got to do is reach out to us on our Facebook DMs. Hit us up. We will verify that it is you and we will get that prize package out to you immediately. Well, but hey, he tagged somebody. He did, and the person he tagged is going to win something, too. So, congratulations to Robert Anderson. Woo Look at you, Robert, winning something because your buddy David tagged you. Congratulations, Robert. All we're going to need you to do is reach out to us on our Facebook page. Hit us up. We'll verify that it's you, what size shirt you need, and we will get that out to you ASAP. Nice. So easy, right, Jordan? Yeah. Let's keep this giving tree going, yeah. though. Bro. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's keep so it up. What do you want to do this week? Well, John, seeing as to how I'm rocking one of these oh, beautiful yeah. backyard and Look beyond t shirts, shirt. mm -hmm. I figure, hey, why not give away one of these limited edition exclusive shirts? I like it to some of our uh, lucky viewers out there. I like it. Well, let's do that. Let's do the same. Like Jordan, let's do the same thing we did last week. Okay. All right. So, guys, what we're going to need you to do is share this video, right? And then the comment section, I want you to tag somebody who doesn't already know about Rec Tech, and both of you guys are going to win exclusive Backyard and Beyond T-shirts. Mm. That's right. That's how solid. we're doing it. Mm. Super solid. It's super easy. You know, super easy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull these veggies. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to finish these. They look absolutely delicious, right? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these tomatoes, right? These are heirloom tomatoes. We're just going to go right over the top. I'm going to take a little bit of this feta cheese. Oh, a little feta. Okay. Right, a little bit of feta. This dish took somewhat of a Mediterranean turn. It did real quick, didn't it, Jordan? Yeah. All right, we're just going to give this a quick toss. Busy man today, huh? So busy. People just trying to get it. All right. Last but not least, we're going to go right over the top with a little bit more honey rib rub. Man, it smells so good, Jordan. We've got that Rectech barbecue sauce. Guys, don't sleep on this barbecue sauce. This stuff is absolutely delicious. We're going to take our chops, go right over the top with the barbecue oh, sauce. Oh, man. Yeah, don't sleep on that barbecue sauce, guys. comes in two varieties with mm -hmm. a mild and a spicy. Sure enough. Jordan, Yo. and there you go, Bonapatista. How good does that look, my friend? Absolutely incredible. Absolutely delicious, I might have right? to get in there and try some. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a plate up. This is how I would serve it. We take some of those delicious vegetables, right, some of those awesome portobello mushrooms, some of that feta cheese, get a little bit of that tater salad, right, and then get one of these sick fat chops right over the top. Look at that. How good does that look? You guys hungry yet? They're or are you starving. guys hungry? Because I have some extra. I'm just saying, if y'all were here, I would totally share. All right, let's go ahead and dig into this. I know that's what you guys are waiting for. Ooh, buddy. Man. How good does that look right there? Juicy, delicious. Right, get a little bit of tater salad on there. Maybe a squash. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe not that squash. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. All right, guys. So what are you tasting? Let us know. The pork chop is cooked to perfection. Smoky, 
a little bit of sweet, got some heat from the screaming pig, awesome. The potato salad is just, you know, I'm a black man from the South. The potato salad is delicious. I made it from <laughs> scratch. You know, it's <laughs> awesome. Then we have the uh, vegetable medley with the zucchini, the squash, a creaminess from the feta. That beer, really, you can't even taste it. It's really just tastes like barley and oats in there, Jordan. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. 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 Gotta Guys, love it. Make sure you're following us on all social media because you never know when we're going to go live. Please follow Rec Tech on everything. You know, I hate for y'all to miss out on some amazing content. Make sure you're following me on all social media. I am Chef John Pinnell. Make sure you're following my counterparts. He is Barbecue Dad Jody Flanagan, and he is Chef Greg Muller on all social media. Mm. Ah, that's so good. But if you guys need to talk to a real live person, all you got to do is reach out to us, 706-922-0890. We are waiting patiently for your call. There are no stupid questions. We have an answer for everything. Definitely give us a call. Jordan Johnson, do you have anything else? Man, I just want everybody out there to have a great week and That's stay right. tuned for the week we've got for you. That's right. we got an exciting week. Jordan, you have all our shows posted somewhere, don't you? We sure do. We have a graphic with all of our shows posted. If you would like that graphic, please send me an email or yeah. you can find it on our Facebook page, but That's I'll right. be glad to help That's you out. That's right. And if you guys ever want to talk to Jordan Johnson, just email him. He's jordan at rectech.com. Like I said, he's just waiting, That's waiting right. for your emails, That's waiting right. for your emails. I want Guys, all of them. Just hit him up and say hello. You know, he's a lonely guy. He doesn't get a lot of emails. Hit him up. <laughs> hit him up. But, Sherp, you got anything? That's it. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And from everybody here at the Worldwide Headquarters for RecTech, we want to wish you a happy and safe week. And remember, take care of one another. Listen to one another. And never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the RecTech. Woo! Do, do, do. Do 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 Rectech Lifestyle said it and come get it when